I am Adelia Waris and I would like to share with you a new initiative taken up jointly with my colleagues in respiratory medicine, fungal infections and immunology. I am myself a physician in pediatric infectious diseases with a strong interest in fungal infections. And my research focuses on why patients do develop fungal infection and what is the best way to manage those infections. Aspidillus is a fungus present everywhere in our environment and its spores are transported by air. So therefore, it is not surprising that those tiny spores can reach our airways. And in persons with an intact immune system and healthy lungs, those spores will be easily cleared. A problem can arise though for people with cystic fibrosis, in which those tiny spores can be entrapped in the lungs due to the sticky mucus. Rhesus has shown that up to 60% of people with cystic fibrosis will become infected with aspergillus. And to be honest, although some people with cystic fibrosis can become sick from aspergillus, we don't know exactly if the presence of aspergillus on the sticky mucus is always harmful and which people with cystic fibrosis will develop more severe lung infections or disease due to the presence of aspergillus. And we also don't know what is the best way of treating aspergillus infections and disease. Those questions have led to the formation of a new consortium, the ASPER-CF Consortium, with the aim to find answers to those questions. And we as doctors and researchers are very happy that the CF Trust has joined our consortium. We have written together a research proposal to be submitted to the Medical Research Council, one of the main research funding body bodies in the UK. And I would like to invite you to let us know what you think about our ideas, to share your experiences and to interact with us about the topic of aspergillus infections in cystic fibrosis.